Craig, tell us about the origins of mudra space awareness. When did this discipline begin? Where does it come from? Well, it comes from Chagyam Trungpa Rinpoche, who was a great Tibetan master who vowed to transmit the principles of Tibetan Buddhism without bringing all the trappings of Tibetan culture. So in the early 1970s, he came into the American counterculture, which was the most vibrant expression of culture going on. And he received people from all different professions, including the arts, including the performing arts. So when people came to him and showed him what they were doing in terms of innovative art, uh, theater at that time, he then showed them what he did when he was a teenager in a monastery in eastern Tibet when he was learning monastic dance. Um, so in monastic dance, the function of theater is a kind of, is a way of transmitting the principles of Tibetan Buddhism so that the audience can be transformed simply by viewing it. So he presented a series of exercises that responded to what the great theater practitioners of the early 70s were doing. Um, and these exercises became what's called mudra space awareness or mudra theater. And that was, began about 1972, I think. And it was really during the period between 1972 in 1975, in interaction with some of the greatest Western theater practitioners and their actors, that he developed this series of exercises.